Hello, my name is Zefania Mwando and I'm going to show you something on how to configure access control uh, with one focus of doing combined uh, access methods. Instead of just having maybe fingerprint, uh, you do fingerprint and card, uh, fingerprint and uh, maybe face recognition, such kinds of options. So the software I'm using currently is called Smart PSS Lite and this software has four functionalities. We have monitor, we have access control, we have attendance and video intercom. So my main focus will be attendance. But before you do anything, the first thing is you go to devices and make sure that your device is online. If it's not there, I will auto search and add. Uh, so my device is called ASI uh, 2212. So I'm just trying to find it so that I can add. And then we're able to uh, see. Or I can just input the the IP range. Uh, this one is like this. Then I search. Then I'll find it. It is here. So this is the device I'm looking for. So I'll select it and then click add. I will input the username and the password of this device. Once I have that, uh, the next bit will be the device comes online. This is the access controller 2212. So once I have this, uh, one thing that we must begin on is you go to configuration so that we make sure the time settings are actually accurate because uh, access control also goes with time. So I'll just use any plus three. Okay, this is fine. Uh, then I change this format to this. This is what I prefer. Then I will sync with my PC. Uh, then save it. So once I have this running uh, like that, then I come back to home access control so we have four functionalities under access control that is monitoring we have person access control configuration and access control records so monitoring means that i'm able to see this door uh, any activity that would happen to it if i unlock uh, it it will give me a log if it locks it will give the log then i can configure the door to remain always closed uh, always open uh, based on what i prefer then once this is done, uh, I'll come back to access control again. I have person where I can add users to my uh, to my system. Uh, in this case, when you open person, uh, you're able to synchronize users from smart PSS to the device and vice versa. So I already have a list of users, uh, but to add a user, just click add. Uh, when you click add, uh, you get this kind of pop-up. You input the person ID preferably the national ID or employee ID or job ID, then the name, uh, you select the department they are in, uh, the type of user, we have different types, normal, VIP, guest, patrol, block list, and other user, then we have the period effectiveness. So if they are only here for a month, I'll just give them access for a month, but uh, in this case, because it's just configuration for demonstration, we leave it default. If you are using face recognition access control, you can take a snapshot from your web camera or from the device itself, or you can upload the person's face picture. If you have a password, you create the password for this user, and then you can swipe a card uh, for the same, then you add a fingerprint for this user. Uh, you can add more information, but by default how smart PCs is designed is, the moment you select a department, there will be issued rights uh, specific to that department. So that is it uh, about adding a user, so I won't go into detail. Uh, I'm keen today on this specific bit, access control configuration. Uh, under access control configuration, uh, I'm keen to show you this bit uh, of, we have the time plan. You can create different time plans based on how people access. Then you have the holiday plan which uh, we can set up that today is holiday. You, you can set a rule that all those remain locked during holidays. Then you have area configuration. So you can create this into door groups. So when you create this area, so anyone who will be added to that uh, department will be. So you assign a permission group. So we set this area to this permission and then we complete. So every time you add it to this department, uh, so you select the department, then they'll be definitely added to that 
specific area that we just configured. So that is how you configure permissions. Then we have authorization progress, which will show you every time you add a user to a device and all that. So when I just added this permission setting, it automatically updated uh, my 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 door with the list of users I already have in this software. Then we have door parameters. If I come to this door parameters, um, I have multiple options. Number one is I can rename the door. I can set it to be entrance reader or exit reader. Then I can set the door st status to normal, always open, normally closed. Then uh, you can enable and disable such functionalities. Uh, then we have other things. You can link to a door sensor. You can set an ad admin and lock password. You can enable remote verification, which means that if a user gains for before the door opens, uh, a user will input the credit, username and password. Uh, uh, in this case, they can swipe. Uh, it can also do face recognition. Then uh, someone in the control room verifies and unlocks for them. Then we have other functionalities like unlock duration. Maybe the door stays unlocked for three seconds, then it locks. Then if it goes beyond 60 seconds, it should trigger an alarm. Then this bit of unlock method, we can unlock you, by default it's always or I can unlock with card or I unlock with fingerprint or I unlock with face or I unlock with password but uh, for, for more secure access you can set this unlock to and so that it means you either unlock with a card and a fingerprint combination a fingerprint and face or card and face or password and face or password and fingerprint so based on which combination you prefer then that would work. So this would enhance the security of your access control to something more, more concrete. Then uh, with that, we have first card unlock. So the first card would unlock. Then the other, before the first card swipes, uh, all the other cards cannot unlock. Then we have multi card where uh, two people have to swipe the first person and then the second person before the door unlocks. Then we have anti pass back, which means that once you swipe in. You must swipe outside out first before you swipe in again. So this will prevent that exchanging of cards. Then we have multi door interlock. So this door one and door two. So if door one is open, door two must is closed. If you try to open door two while door one is open, it will not unlock and vice versa. So that is what door interlock would do. Then we have access control records where you can access like the different logs that you have from the device access. So that is it for today's training on a brief introduction to access control. I hope it becomes helpful in your deployments. Thank you.